I am getting ready to make some hinges so that I can hinge this ramp onto this trailer. And we will put the hinges right in here. And I will show you how to make hinges. To make the hinge, you will need a rod and a pipe. The pipe needs to be large enough to receive the rod where the rod can spin freely. Make sure your rod is cut no shorter than the length of the span that you're going to hinge on. Keeping the rod in one piece is important because you will take the pipe pieces and you will be able to line them up perfectly so you have a straight shot through with the rod. I will begin by making three inch marks every three inches along the pipe. I am making two sets of hinges. Each hinge will have three segments to the hinge. I will now go cut six segments out of this pipe for my two hinges. Here's the cut pipe segments for two hinges. We will make the hinge by running the rod through the segments. And we will end up cutting the rod as pins that the pipe segments will receive. The outer two segments will be welded to the trailer and the middle segment will be welded to the ramp. This will allow the middle segment that's connected to the ramp to spin freely, raising and lowering the ramp. Now take the rod and feed the pipe segments onto the rod. So this gives you an idea where the hinges are going to be placed. I have spread the pipe segments out on the rod right where they need to go and notice that there is a gap, a nice significant gap so that the middle pipe will rotate freely between the outer two pipe segments. With the use of C-clamps on each end, I have the rod held into place, positioning my pipe exactly where they need to go so I can weld them into place. I have now tack welded the outer pipe of the hinge, leaving this one to spin in the middle. I've done that to both sides. Next, I will take my ramp and lift it up into position and weld the ramp to the middle pipe. Now we take the ramp and put it in the upright position, laying the edge on top of the hinges. And in this position, I will weld the ramp to the middle pipe on each side. It is wise to tack all pieces in position before finishing the final welds in case you have to redo something. I have everything tacked into place and we are now going to check the hinge to make sure it works properly. The hinge works perfect. I will now take the rod out and make pins by cutting a segment of the rod, marking here and making a mark here so that we can cut the pins out when we remove the rod. 